Hey Team Scuff, today we're going to cover what you need to know to play like a pro in Apex Legends. Paddles, located on the back of the controller, are essential to keeping your thumbs on the thumbsticks by using your other fingers. These paddles can be remapped to the face buttons of your preference, but also have a default setting. Starting with the outer two paddles, the outer left paddle, or P4, is mapped to jump by default. The outer right paddle, or P1, is mapped to slide by default. Using the paddles for these functions improve how quickly and efficiently you move in Apex Legends. As you begin to learn with Scuff, start playing with one paddle at a time. We recommend beginning with P4. Practice using the paddle in menus and then advance onto jumping during training mode and gameplay with only the one paddle. Once you're comfortable, repeat the same process but now with P1 to slide. When you feel confident with each, practice using both paddles to jump and slide. Inner paddles also help to perform secondary actions without moving your thumb off the thumbsticks. The inner left paddle, or P3, is mapped to interact by default. The inner right paddle, or P2, is mapped to weapon switch by default. Just like before, start playing with one paddle at a time. We recommend beginning with P3. Practice using the paddle in the menus and then move on to picking up items and interacting with doors, zip lines, and care packages. Once you're comfortable, repeat the same process but now with P2 for switching weapons. When you feel confident with each, try incorporating all four paddles. It can take a couple of weeks to get used to them all, but keep practicing and it will become second nature to you. Next up, thumbsticks. Everyone has different hand sizes, thumb lengths, and preferences. Scuff thumbsticks are interchangeable for your comfort and playstyle. For more aggressive players, like shotgun players, we recommend a short concave left and a short dome right. Concave thumbsticks are designed for more movement control. Short thumbsticks allow for quicker movement and are great for playing at lower sensitivities. For more defensive players, like snipers, we recommend a short concave left and a tall dome right. Dome thumbsticks are designed for more accuracy. Tall thumbsticks have more angle to play with and are great for playing at higher sensitivities and for larger hand sizes. Now on to shooting. Most scuff controllers have a three-part trigger control system. Number one, trigger stops. They help you shoot more. Number two, hair triggers. They help you shoot faster. And number three, extenders. They give you additional length for comfort and are great for larger hands. Then there's your aim. Controller vibration can affect your accuracy, so we recommend having your vibration modules taken out when ordering. This reduces the weight of your controller by 20% and reduces hand fatigue. Here are some extra features you should also consider. Use a control disc in place of the D-pad to have better access to those controls. You'll be far less likely to miss the buttons and it will feel a lot smoother due to the rounded shape. On the Vantage, you have two additional access points called SAX buttons. These are located on the side of the controller. You can access these by using your inner finger and should be remapped for any additional actions such as health and grenade wheels. To start out, we recommend mapping the health wheel to the left sax button, or S1, and the grenade wheel to the right sax button, or S2. Now you're ready to play like a pro. If you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell to get an update for part 2 where we'll be showing even more layouts for Apex Legends. Thanks for watching.